We are back everyone. Um, going to go through here on a right turn. We're gonna go through a middle of downtown Asheville again. Uh, through so the couple test roads. Uh, I can't even remember the names of the roads. Um, like I said, I'm not from Asheville, but I will learn them eventually. Hello everyone, I just wanted to give a quick interjection here in the beginning of the video. Just wanted to give a heads up that I was not happy with this portion of the drive. There were quite a few really, honestly, bad mistakes. I'm just going to be, I'm very honest with you, everyone, this section sucked. It is very much worse than version 10 was when we went through here. Uh, that being said, I do think there going to continue improving with the versions. This version just wasn't it for Asheville. It was actually pretty great in many other areas, but the Asheville area was not good. And we'll see in the coming videos, unfortunately, they're, they're not going to be very good. So, forewarn everyone. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you down below. We'll reroute this afterwards. Notice, everyone, how the navigation path has not been created. Uh, you'll... I... Looking back, that is definitely what caused this issue. Again, I don't like this. I just didn't have any traffic. <sighs> is it still? It, it doesn't. It's not going to give it. That's that's the problem. It won't let me turn off the winker either. It's not gonna be cancel the winker. And then it turns the blinker off. We actually do need to get in this right lane here. As this this left lane in the left ends. That um, that is one downgrade for this version. Very clear downgrade driving today, as that turn singles don't let you cancel the turn singles. Wow, what a jerk! What's it doing? <laughs> Turn, tried to turn there. It's just, what frustrates me is that it's doing so well. It does so impeccably well. And then all of a sudden it makes some mistake it's never done before. It just, it just turns, like the route doesn't say the turn, but it's just like, oh, I'm just gonna turn right here just because. I'm like, nothing's telling it to turn right. Like at all. And you're just like, I'm just going to turn right. I, I'm not sure how the neural net has been trained to do that. Um, but I really, really hope they can get more data to figure out. Like, I can't imagine they don't have enough data to prevent that by now. Also, it shouldn't stop for a yield sign. This is our first roundabout on this version. It's still hesitant on this roundabout specifically. <laughs> Okay, now we got our route chosen. In 500 feet, turn right onto South Spring Street. Is it still going to go through the parking spots? Now turn right onto South Spring Street. Whoa, okay. That's, yeah, I'm not letting it do that again. I don't know why it thinks it's okay. It even has it on the map, uh, on the visual. It thinks it's okay to go through um, the parking spaces. There's not a car coming, but there's a car parked here, as you can see. Made that good. Let's see if it'll get correctly in this lane, um, left turn lane this time. Why does it have a right turn single? It's GPS accuracy, that's why it's doing it. 
as it thinks it was still turning. Look at that, it's trying to make a right, it turned on the right blinker again to make a left turn. What's it? I uh, so I overrid that. You, everyone's seeing that, right? I have no idea why it's going right. It's like it's testing us. Like they, they can't perf. There's no way like it degraded that much. Like, it, it. I almost think they're purposely doing something like that to make sure we're paying attention, which is ridiculous because then. No, that has much higher odds of causing a wreck. It shouldn't do that. So it's like a conspiracy over here. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it, it, you saw it. It turned the right blinker on. I forgot to also put this in 4K, so I apologize for my uh, crazy quality, everyone. I definitely forgot to do that, but uh, it definitely still shows the visualization. This seems a little bit better. I don't want to speak too soon. See, this would have been an appropriate spot to actually go around. Now it goes around. Stay in this lane. You actually have to. I can't. In 500 feet. I want to bring on a cancel the lane, Tesla. Tesla, let me cancel the lane. Lane change. Why is it still trying to go? Up? Okay, everyone. This is this is a huge problem with this update. I don't know what its logic is with lane changes, but it's turning, it's changing lanes, or turning the single on way too early and going the wrong direction. Okay, I don't know why it's stopping here. I pressed the accelerator. Let's see if it gets in the, stays in the straight lane. Stay in the straight lane. In 500 feet, no. turn right onto okay. Otis Street, then turn right onto Wall Street. It thinks it has to get over in the left lane. Again. It's done this every update, as you can see, like clearly, it has has to go straight here. Just make sure all that gets on the camera button. That was a mess. Uh right there. This this um uh, for Asheville, this is um I'd say it's worse. I can I can confidently say this section, this particular section is definitely worse than uh, 10.01 now turn right onto the photo street It's still a little bit too. Uh, we have to get around Nine this car right here. Onto Wall oh my god. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. Okay. I'm actually disengaging it purposely here so I can reroute it back to here. In 500 feet, turn left onto Battery Park Avenue. Ooh, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, you can... Definitely more people out at this time. Now turn left onto Battery Park Avenue. 
and added the press accelerator to give it a little bit more confidence, just not right now. This is, it's really getting overwhelmed right here. Pressing it, pressing the accelerator. Come on. You got this. You got this. Some motivational talk. Yeah. I, I don't understand why it's just not going. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can confidently say, everyone, this is uh, most certainly worse than 10.01 on this section, on this particular drive. I think what we're going to do is if I ever... Slow down, Tesla. Uh, what we're going to do is going to compile all this together in, a, in another evaluation type video. Now to Just to... Um, like essentially to determine uh, what exactly is going on and like just to kind of pinpoint the issue and just give feedback to Tesla essentially. This um, this update causes a lot of issues when it comes to making proper lane changes. Okay good, so it made that turn wide. That was That was a good turn right there. This is going to be, again, the end of this drive right here, once we take a left here. That'll be in a Can short... Square. And then what we're going to... Okay, made it, made it. That was a tricky situation right there. Got a person on my right, and then got a car close on the left. And what we're gonna do is go to New Belgium after this. Okay, I'm pressing it for it's taking too long. Not sure what that was about. We are your destination is on the left. Go ahead and do this. And then I'm gonna go turn off the 360 camera. Everyone, that was um definitely an improvement. Well, what am I talking about? <laughs> definitely an unimprovement. Wrong word, unimprovement. Uh, compared to the previous uh, update for this that particular section, it still needs to creep better for Carolina Lane and everything else. I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just, just throwing it how it is. I'll let you decide down below. Please comment what you think. Did you think it's worse? I'm gonna have this in a playlist um, so you can review. But did you think it was worse than the previous update? If so, just uh, let us know down below. Uh, I will see you in the next video. We're going to New Belgium. Bye, everyone.